right so you just go to file new project see here which one you want to select analysis services multi-dimensional data or analysis services tabular project whenever you are installing your this uh, SQL Server MSBA software you have to specify you can't use both either you want to install the software under the multi-dimensional model or tabular project which one any of one only you can select for example if you are installing this one under analysis services tabular project you can't deploy this analysis service multi-dimensional modeling you can't use this one okay so any of one only you can choose okay right so yeah. so suppose i install using a multi-dimensional if i create then a tabular project is it not going to work now yeah it don't work okay okay right you should have removed this tab <laughs> yeah so analysis service multi-dimensional i want to use and the project name i want to give whatever okay sses project this is the storage location click ok so actually i have installed this in under tabular model uh, okay so whenever we are going to do deployment i will take another mission i have another mission so mm -hmm. I will do that on mission okay right so you just come to solution explorer this is my project the first thing what we have to do create the data source new data source click next and uh, so what is the data source connection you, you want to create if you want to create a new one it's also it's already there i have created in the long back so if you want to take new one yes you can take new one i want to use the existing old one only okay so right click next so here the information whatever the username and password you are going to specify over here so that information should be access on your data source for example, your data source is uh, any of one data uh, database in SQL Server or whatever. But the account, whatever the account you are going to specify username and password should be is a uh, should be having access on that particular database. Read access. Okay. So use a specific Windows username and password. Whatever the username and password you are giving, that should be access. Whatever this service account. So instead of providing the username and password, you are just simply taking service account. Service account means this analysis services, not only the analysis services, any of services in your computer should run under one, one account, right? At the time of installation, this analysis services, SSAS, is going to run under one services. You can check, you just go to services.msc and which account this service is running. So if you are selecting this one, it is using that service account to connect to database. But it's not mandatory, uh, this service account should have access on this database, right? Or uh, you can use the uh, credentials for the current user. I have logged in with, uh, into my computer by using some com uh, username and password. You want to use that one? I'm not sure. This user account having privileges into my data source, okay? and uh, or you want to inherit inherit means yes the same the current user information only it is going to take but it don't have that much of features okay 